Hello. So we are back, yeah? Monday. Hey, Mondays. Okay. So what do we have today, yeah? Yeah. Toshiba. Satellite. C50-B-14D. Yeah. You know, it's a cheap one. No, but this is Intel, it's not AMD. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Power on. Okay. Just wait. It's coming on nicely, yeah. Nice picture. Loading up. Yeah. Okay, it's on. It's on, yeah. When I go on the standby screen, yeah. No on the standby. I want to log in. Login screen. So check now. Actually, no, it's working. No, it's not working. Yeah. So what do you think is the problem? Yeah. It's like a Christmas tree. But just wait, you'll see. Now it's fine. Now it's 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 on the other screen and it's fine. The light is not blinking. <laughs> one second, one second, one second. Okay, so what's the catch here, yeah? What's the fault? On well, this screen is fine, yeah? Nothing wrong happened on the screen, yeah? On the other screen? If I plug the charger... Let me plug the charger. Plug the charger. It's not doing anymore. Yeah, so with the charger plugged in, it's not doing. Take out the charger, again. So what's the problem, huh? If you think you are good, just just tell me the problem. You know what's the problem? On this screen, it's not doing. On this screen, it is doing. After a while, yeah, it's doing now. You don't know the problem. Trust me, I don't know the problem. But we are about to find out. What can be the issue with this one? Yeah? One second. Yeah, okay. You know what you will do? Exactly what I did. I ordered a new screen. Because this is a comeback job. So we fix, we replace the screen like one month ago. And uh, the customer will come back with this fault. Yeah.
So actually this, this is a brand new screen. You can see the foil. Yeah, obviously with the old screen we're doing the same thing. So it's not the screen. What's the problem? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know what is the problem. So we have on the light thing, we have three three signals, yeah. We have the 19 volts for the inverter and we have two 3.3 volts for the light to be turned on, the inverter to be turned on and the bright, the brightness, yeah. One of these three is doing some dodgy things. Why? It's not because of the screen, it's not because of the ribbon cable. Probably the Super IO chip is doing this thing. I don't know why, and I don't care. What I do care is about fixing this thing. Well, I will not replace the Super IO chip. The startup chip, yeah? So the laptop is on. It's still on, but I have no access on the screen. Hmm? That's bad because I have to check some things here. Okay, so we do have access here, but are no signals. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a Chinese screen. Hmm, that's bad. What we can check only the 19 volts we can check here. We're still on. Let's see the 19, but I'm sure it's not the 19. Minus plus 15. Yeah, because it's running on the battery. Anyway, with the multimeter, probably you can't even see this kind of flickering. And on the screen, I don't have those test points. Yeah, you know the test points with the brightness and with the. Hmm? Okay. This is a little bit bad, but we'll try to find out. We'll try to find that pins, yeah? So that's the inverter, yeah? What do we have here? A zero point eight. Here we have a three point three, and that's all. We have we have the nineteen here. Uh, we have a fuse here, and yeah, that's a fuse. Fifteen, yeah. Let's try again. It's flickering. Yeah, it is flickering. We have a 0 0.9, 0 0.8. But you can't really see this kind of flickering, yeah? So if it's a signal, which is switching fast, you can't see with the multimeter. You can see with the oscilloscope. You know what? Let's turn on the, the oscilloscope. Yeah. 
the oscilloscope is not working. Ah. Yeah, I know why. Because the driver is not digital sign, and actually I have to restart the computer. No. And that's long. I don't want to restart the computer. Okay. So let's check again. So what do I think? I think that signal is coming from here because it's changing. Look, 1.28, 0 0.8, 1 point. Look, 1 volt, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. Yeah, you can see. So I think this is one of my signals and it's not okay. What about after? One second. the same story what I will try to do I'll try to short this with this yeah let's try still flickering and it's not flickering anymore now you can't see how can I show you you can see the light flickering on the screen huh? Uh, no really. Mm. Okay, that's not important. Let's try and fix this. Let me shut down the the computer because I don't want to have voltage there. So the issue is on this case the super IO chip, the startup chip. Why I don't know why. That's the thing, I don't know why. But it's no even point trying to ch check, yeah? So let's make the 3.3 .3 to be the same on the both signals, yeah? And yeah, should be working. Probably the brightness will not work anymore. Well, So the screen is good, the screen is not faulty. But I just try to trick the signal. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's fine. Let's test one more time. So this screen was fine, but when I was going on the login screen, was doing things on the screen. Oh. <laughs> it's not. It's not doing anymore. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> now it's fine. Remember, we spoke about those signals. Okay.
So that is how you can fix the backlight issues, yeah? Okay, just be sure you have 19 and you have two signals 3.3. Okay, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you later, yeah? Bye.